Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of ARK Survival Plus on the Gaming Evolved server and today we have some amazing plans. I want to move into the iron tier of tools and weapons and unfortunately we can't do the iron tier of armor but that will be for another episode. Today we're going to start off with something else though. I really quickly just want to show you through some of the stuff here. Um, and then we're going to take a look at all the iron stuff. But before we start off this video, if at any point in this video you find yourself liking this video, be sure to beat the crap out of that like button. Really, honestly, if you enjoy these videos, make sure that you hit the crap out of that like button. It really does help me out. And uh, first of all, I guess I'll show you off all this stuff here. So in the last episode, we had two terror birds, I think, when we ended it off. I don't think I hatched up a third one in that video. Um, so since then, it's actually been quite a long time since then. Um, I hatched up the egg that we made from the first two. That turned out to be a female. I got that female, bred it up, hatched up another one that turned out to be a male. Eventually, the first one was able to breed again, uh, hatched that one up, and then we got a uh, we got a female, and then I think we got another male after. So all in all, I think we have four females, and we have three males. So one of these males, I think it's this one here. Yeah, this one right here. We're probably going to end up selling this guy pretty soon here. Uh, because I want to sell off some of these guys before people have eggs of them. I definitely want to sell off a couple of them. Uh, so terror birds are obviously, like, I've been using these things to hunt quite a bit. And as you can see, some of them are really high level because I've just been going out. I've been, like, killing, like, really good stuff with this. Like, Carnos, Raptors. Like, I even killed a couple, like, low-level Rexes and, a, and then one really high-level Hurt Rex, which was great. And then a couple Brontos as well. We finished some stuff off. Either way... Oh my god, the terror birds are amazing. You guys, they are fantastic. Okay, so um, we're probably going to be selling off this one, but that is all for another day. Oh my god, he's gotten loads of levels from just being around here. Holy crap. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, we're probably going to sell him off another day. We're going to make a little market or something, but obviously before I kind of like mention any of that, we will definitely be neutering them when we're doing all that. So not right now, but uh, pretty soon here we will be selling off some of these things and they should be able to breed again. Yeah, they should Yeah, they should be able to because I mean it's been a while now so I can breed up another four here at some point here but I'm not sure if we're going to do it right now and also I'm not even sure if I showed this off. I just put up that little pen thing just to keep them in. Um, now if anybody caught the end of the last episode or not the end, sorry, no, it was like halfway through or something. We did mention, okay, that our horses got messed up uh, because of a change that they were making and they didn't realize it would affect something. Basically, it reverted all of our horses back to level 1. And I think Neo's ones are still as level 1. So I can show that off as a little bit of a uh, example. So as you can see, Neo's horses were all, like, really decent levels. And now they're all level 1. This happened to us too. Um, so since then I have destroyed my horses and we have replaced them with level like basically the level that we tamed them out as and I kind of look back at footage and added experience to kind of bring us up to the pace where we were before so pretty much giving us kind of the same horse now we didn't get the exact same horse as you can see this is the this was the 156 the colors are a little bit different and the stats are unfortunately not as good as they were um, the weight did not go up to like 3,000 or something that we had our other one at and uh, since then I've also I got in the other one too I got in the mail that we had and um, unfortunately okay because they were because they were like bred up before and we had like a normal baby well fortunately and unfortunately I wasn't recording any of it but we did manage to get a mutated one it's kind of, it's like a red mutation all over it let me just take off the saddle cuz it looks a lot nicer without the saddle let me just show this thing off now I probably would have done an episode on this had we've actually gotten it on cam but like I was in the middle of like doing a load of stuff but in either way we got a cool red mutation on it as you can see it got like pretty much the first generation and straight away mutation like that that doesn't often happen but uh I'm really happy that it did and it's a really cool color it's got kind of like a kind of like a light brown and then like a dark brown as like the <laughs> look at him there as the beard and then the legs as well and then he's got the red which looks really cool so I named it Achilles which I think is a really fitting name for it um, really cool part about it is is that like this is quite a primal kind of like primitive tribe type thing so it looks really cool that he's like painted red especially on his face because that's almost that it kind of looks like war paint or something right like that you'd kind of paint your horse before you go off and fight like 
another tribe or something like that. Either way, I think it looks fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, the saddle is not paintable, and I didn't actually know you can stick dino glasses on the Equus saddle, but you can't stick the Parasaur saddle skin on the Parasaur saddle, which is so strange. So yeah, he's got he's got little glasses like that. So it's kind of it's fortunate that we got the mutation. Unfortunate that I got it in a circumstance that I really like. I wasn't like ready to record at all, like not in my normal recording times at all. So uh, yeah, but I pretty much. Um, I got that guy and then we fully imprinted him and everything and uh, I leveled him up a little bit too But uh, then I also went out and did a little bit of hunting with him too and uh, got a couple levels on him as well So I just thought I'd bring you guys up to speed Um, for the full explanation about all this You might as well just check out the last episode, but uh, yeah, let's move on to the main premise of this episode We are moving into the iron tier and we've had this forge down here for the longest time and uh I have been working, as you can see, we have quite a lot of iron ingots, and I'm going to show you guys how to make these today here. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some quicklime, uh, which you can get by putting limestone into a um, into a quicklime kiln. Now I got to be careful not to look at the windmill because that will make me crash. One of those giant ground orange boob things. You put that into there, you put some coal in, get it all lit up and everything, and it turns it into quick lime. And I think the ratio is 50 of this to 100 of this. Um, so unfortunately, we don't have another another bit of that to actually make that 50. But anyway, um, so you get your quick lime kiln, and, or you get your quick lime, and then you get your iron ore, and you put it into the furnace. And the ratio is it takes 10 iron ore and one of these and it will make you five metal or five iron so basically it takes like it's the same kind of ratio so like this amount will get me 200 iron um it's kind of the same ratio as like metal in normal arc except the difference is it doesn't take two and give you one it takes 10 and gives you five so a little bit different um so what else you're gonna need uh you're gonna also need do I, I know i have a couple in here i have a bunch of these made up i think i can take one more uh, I thought I had more of them made up. Where are the rest of them? I don't even know. Check it out after. But, uh, yeah, so you get your charcoal to light up this thing, and then you're going to need your ingots, ingot molds. And you put those things in there. And to be honest, I might as well. Do I have some more? I know I have more charcoal over here. I thought I had some more in that thing there. Uh, I might as well go ahead and put in two stacks of charcoal and a couple more ingot molds. Let's just fill this thing fully up. Okay, so I don't think I can stick anything else in there. 12 slots out of 12 slots. Let's light this thing up. Now, the thing about this is, is that it takes ages to do at least one of them. So, uh, I think we're going to just take a step back and, like, we're going to do some other stuff here. And I'll come back to this in a couple minutes. But you guys will see that it will actually turn it into iron ingots. Uh, just like these ones in here that we have prepared. I've been doing this for a little while so far. And we've been running through our iron pretty pretty quickly here I mean we still have a lot of quick lime but uh, the iron is definitely running out so I got to do a trip for some of that at some point soon but luckily it's pretty easy to get it up the mountains with a horse so anyway what can we make in the iron tier okay so I think first of all yeah let's just have a look in here really quick so you can make several things from the iron tier you can make iron armor but unfortunately for this not only is it very expensive because it costs um, iron armor components which cost two iron per one uh, as you can see this would cost eight iron this would cost 26 like a full set of that is gonna be very expensive so uh, we're not gonna make any of that right now and also I don't even have the cotton string um, I don't think Neo's put any up for sale so I can't really buy any off of him I don't even think he has that much um, because I know there's been some weird weirdness going on with the growing of like crops and everything so um yeah we're gonna we're gonna leave it a little bit to actually get all this stuff here but we definitely will be doing that at some point as you can see it's a little bit better than the oh my god the armor is twice as good but the durability is slightly better than the bronze armor which we already have um so yeah anyway what can we make up we can make up hatchets we can make up picks we can make up swords and we can make up a shield as well but i think it's inside of this thing right here the little anvil so let me just type in iron okay so this is everything iron in here so we have the this is the hatchet blade that is the pick blade i already have a couple of these made up and it was a little bit cheeky because 
they had <laughs> they had these things in, and you could craft them for one bronze. So I may I may have been a little bit cheeky and sneaky, and I may have crafted up a bunch of them. Oh, not in there. Where are they? Not in there either. Apparently, where? Okay, so I have a couple in here. Uh, this as well, actually, if you fully turn them into picks at that point, the durability was like two or something like that. So. Uh, this one's really hurt, but I like I haven't actually even used that. I think I've hit one thing with that once. Um, so we have a couple of these made up already, because they did only take like one bronze or something like that. It was something really insane, something very very cheap. And I have a bunch more in the back here. That's where I made them. So so uh, yeah, a little bit a little bit cheeky with that, but uh, I think it's gonna be okay. I think we're all gonna be fine. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and put them into here. So basically, what you do is. Um, First of all, you start off by going into the blacksmith anvil and you make up your dull pick blade. And that is this thing right here. So that's going to cost you 8 iron ingots. And then what you want to do with that is you want to bring it to the sharpening stone. And you drop them in. Where's the inventory? Oh, do I already have a bunch in there? I think I... Uh, yeah, apparently I did. <laughs> oh, wait, no. They're already turned into things. Yeah, they're already all, all turned into blades, so... I guess I gotta put a couple of fresh ones in. Oh wait, no. I gotta get dull ones. They don't have like a difference, do they? Uh, no, they don't really. So that's dull. That's dull, 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 dull. Okay, are they all dull? Okay, they look like it. Okay, so what you wanna do now is you wanna just craft them into iron pick blades. So you can craft all six of them like that, pretty easy. Um, and then with the blades, you wanna come into here and you want to probably move some of this stuff that you already have in here, but uh, you want to put your blades in. Oh crap, I put in a dull one. That's that one there. I know I have more of them. Where are they? Why do they get mixed up so weird? Uh, okay, so what else do I need? Uh, leather strips. I know I have them somewhere. Where did I put them? No, hide strips. A leather strips is something that a tailor can make up, so I got one of the guys to make me up a bunch of that. Where did I put it, though? Oh my god, where did I put the leather strips? I don't even know. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna find that. I, it's somewhere here. I just... Uh, I have so much stuff. Okay, so I have the leather strips. Um, I gotta move something, though. We could probably take out the plant string. So let's start off and put in that much, and we can make up seven of these guys here. Let's go ahead and make up all seven. And these are pretty much all for sale. Like, I mean, I can't put them up for sale right now because I don't really have space in the shop. But uh, let me just compare it to the durability and everything of this one. Okay, so the weapon damage is the same, but the durability is twice. So the iron pick is a lot better than the the, the uh, broads pick so that is pretty amazing I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade myself first let me check it out now it looks pretty much like the vanilla one um, we're pretty much up to the iron tier at this point <laughs> so it makes sense uh, we're gonna have to go ahead uh, I think did I see a storage crate in here where did I see that again I think it was in here right uh, yes let's go ahead and that's already the one that's hurt Let's go ahead and place this somewhere because we got to store some of this stuff for now. Uh, let me just put it here for now, I guess. So, um, oh, did we grab them out? I don't think we did. All right, let me just grab out all these guys. So we can do six as a six at a time, basically, because oh, can we? Oh, crap! We're dropping all kinds of stuff in there. So that's all six of them. Okay, sweet. So we can do six at a time because this takes six. Uh, apparently, it only took five that time. What the hell? Why did it not do all of them? Whoa. What's happening? What the? Okay. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. Oh, wow. I didn't realize it took that long. It didn't take that long before. What? Okay. I guess it takes a while to sharpen. Holy crap. All right. What ones of them are actually already done then? I might have to do a couple cuts here to get all this stuff done. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, I guess, well, first first of all, we could probably go ahead and actually make a start on getting some um, hatchets done as well because I want to upgrade myself with a new hatchet. So there are iron pick blades. Sweet. Okay. Go ahead and get some of these made up. I need to make up some tool handles, I see. I got plenty of wood to make up all that stuff. 
I keep like flicking up the pick and it's gonna get annoying. <laughs> All right, let's grab some wood out of here. Ooh, okay, I thought it was getting heavy there for a second. <laughs> all right, let's trick all that stuff in there. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> it just killed all of the dodos and it, uh, and it destroyed the dodo coop. So that's great. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> all right, let's go ahead and harvest him. <laughs> You ass, you're going to the feeding trough. Oh my god, seriously? I didn't even know. I hate the way there's just so many random dinos around here. It's really annoying. I don't even know how they're getting in. They're like spawning in places, but there's like structures everywhere. I don't know, that really sucks. Anyway, <laughs> back to this. Let me see, have some of this done? Okay, as you can see guys, actually, here we go. So what happens when the iron starts to smelt? So it uses up some of the ingot molds. It looks like this one's being used up a little bit. I don't know why, oh, I guess I've done it in like alphabetical order. Maybe this one is actually in the front uh, in the proper order. But anyway, um, as you can see, it's made up two lots. So it's taken two of this and it's taken 10 or 20 of this. It's given me 10 of this and it's given me two of these. So you get a slag with every one of these. Um, with every like five sets of five, oh my god, I'm words. <laughs> you get one slag per five iron ingots. There we go. That's, it's that simple, Syntax. Jesus. Okay, so basically, this stuff is something that I could sell to a farmer because, as you can see, it can be used for uh, fertilizer, which is pretty good. I think it's probably, I think it might be the top tier of fertilizer, but I'm not sure. I don't really know about the farmer stuff. So that's going ahead. Um, we produce a bunch of this. So, uh,. Pretty much can just sell that all to a farmer if I want to, or give it all to a farmer, like, to trade or something. Um, have you been crafting up? Yes, you have. Okay, have we got any more? We got one more pick. All right, grand. Let me see. Oh, we got to put them in here, right? Yes. Okay, so you go in there. Do I have any more iron pick blades? There, there we go. Oh, that's a dull. I mean, to put that one in. Iron pick blade, iron pick blade, blade blade oh we're full all right we need to go ahead and craft up some more of the iron picks and we're out of leather i gotta put some more in i guess Ooh, let's drop another hundred in there let's get some of these going sweet okay um what was i doing again oh i needed to make uh, tool handles that was it uh so if we go tool oh crap <laughs> Let's just make up a bunch of these things. Yeah, let's just go 48 of them. Sweet. They do cost quite a lot of wood, but it's okay. Wood's pretty easy to come by. Um, okay, so what are we looking at here? We got we got all these guys made up. Sweet. Okay, so we're going to take a break with the iron picks for now. I'll finish off the rest at some other point. Um, I guess right now we're going to go ahead and let me just drop all these guys in here. Let's go ahead and maybe try out one of the hatchets. So are they all iron picks? That's a dull blade. I think the rest of them are iron picks though. They look to be. All right, sweet. I'm gonna drop in a couple more of these guys to get going. All right, so let me see. Okay, um, so let's make up a, a couple of the hatchet blades. So we're pretty heavy. Can we move? Yeah, we can, sweet. All right, so hatchet blade, here we go. Uh, let's make up Let's make up 10 of them. And then we'll work on some swords here too. The swords will be very expensive, by the way. As you can see, I to be honest, I haven't fully set prices for these even in my mind. Like I honestly don't know what I want to charge for this stuff because it's going to be very, very expensive to actually get. So I mean like a sword, look at that, 25 ingots. That is very expensive. I'm probably not going to make very many swords. I'll probably make them on demand almost because, I mean, like, they're so expensive. Like, 100 iron for four swords. <laughs> it's really not enough. So, uh, yeah. Oh, my God, they look so shiny. Yet they're dull. <laughs> so swords are probably going to be, I don't know. I'm going to make myself one right now. Uh, I don't know. We might make, like, four of them or something. I'll keep one of them uh, but in general they're very expensive so probably not all the time uh, let me see so let's make up four of those 
for those crafting and then we can start working with the sharpening stone here in a second get all this stuff sharpened up um how's our iron doing here probably pretty well i'd imagine uh yeah it hasn't changed <laughs> actually you know what we can go ahead and just grab that out we might as well not gonna hurt anything all right let's drop that in uh we got 10 hatchets made up and we have four swords crafting well that's the sword blade so we gotta put that into the sharpening stone as well uh these are all dull let me go ahead and just i'll just store these in here for now uh maybe not in there i'll put them into the back i'll just put them in here for now just so we can look at those later because i don't really want to focus on that stuff i want to try and get like some of everything here so have a couple more of these going i'm gonna just cancel the rest of those and we're gonna go ahead and grab out some hatchet blades i'm gonna try and get some of these things done why did only two of them craft oh wait no there's the rest oh my god that scared me i was like what the hell am i wasting materials oh crap this stuff's so expensive i don't want to waste any of it all right <laughs> uh, okay so what did that take that just took okay fair enough um we should probably get some spearheads going. Let's get a bunch of those spearheads going, because people are going to want spears. How many does it give? Does it give two? It gives two. Okay, so... Uh, we might make a, a couple more of those as well. Uh, we don't have to sharpen that or anything. It comes pretty sharpened. <laughs> so... What are we looking at here? What else is there to make? Um, iron... Okay, so we have, we've looked at this, we've looked at this, we looked at this. Uh, we will be looking at that eventually. I'm going to have to start crafting up a bunch of that in the background because I need a lot more iron. To be honest, I might make a second forge somewhere because it's it's way too slow. I'm going to have to make up a couple shields as well. I might get, uh, yeah, you know what? We're going to make up, yeah, we'll make up five shields. We'll make an iron sword and a shield for ourselves here today. Okay, so you need to craft the iron spear in here. That's interesting because the bronze spear can be crafted inside of the carpenter bench oh wait no can only be crafted at carpenter's in inventory or no can be crafted sorry I misread that completely uh, so we can do that in our inventory because we are actually a carpenter as well so we don't need to use this to do the uh, the spear itself so iron kettle what is that heavy iron kettle used for cooking I mean we could make one I don't know what it is let me have a look uh, Need some more iron here, so let's grab another 100. Can we move? Yes, we can. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Can I not... Oh, yeah, this thing's, like, full. Can I... I think, yeah, I should be able to take all this. Let's just pick up all of this stuff here, because we're going to need all of it. Drop you in there. I will go ahead and... I'll grab some hide. We'll make up some iron shields here. So I got a bunch of hide over here, and I have a bunch of feathers, to be honest. I gotta start making up some arrows or something, or maybe I could just sell off the feathers, because I have too many of them. I just keep getting a bunch of them as well. I keep saving them, though. You see, I don't want to drop anything, because everything has a use right now. Uh, so can I drop you in there? Uh, yes, we can. Let's make up uh, five of those. Sweet. They don't need to be sharpened as well, which is good. <laughs> All right. So let's just empty out all of this crap. What do we got? We got a couple hatchets going here. Uh, let's get all those sharpened. We got five or six of them there going. Sweet. Okay, let me just drop the rest of these iron picks in here. The dull ones, anyway. Dull, 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 dull. Dull? Nope. They're all proper. Okay, cool. So I need to make some arrow shafts as well. Um, do we have any of those already? Well, there's... I mean, they only... Wait, no, no, not arrow shaft. Uh, what is it? Spear shaft? Spear shaft. Uh, we need eight wood for one of those. Uh, it looks like I have enough weight to carry a couple stacks of wood at least. Uh, I keep going for the wrong one. All right, let's just grab down two. Can we? Yeah, we can carry two. Sweet. Okay. Now, it's getting a little bit dark here, so let's gamma up. Let's gamma three because it's going to get pretty dark. Um, okay, let's chuck those in there. That is the arrow shaft. Where's the spear shaft? That's like a little bit further down. By the way, actually, take a look at this. This is something that we're probably going to look at some, sometime soon. Um, I think they've partnered up with a mod developer that made an auction house. So they've allowed their mod to work with that mod. So we can make mailboxes, which is pretty cool. So we're going to probably look into that at some point. 
Uh, I gotta figure out exactly how it works and everything, but, uh, yeah, that is all for another day. And also, it's, like, enabled on TGE. <laughs> it meant, like, the little typo there. Uh, where would the arrow shaft be? Or the spear shaft. There we go. Uh, how many of those can I make up? Just make up a bunch of them, to be honest. Yeah, we'll just make up a bunch. All right. Uh, what were we doing out here? Um, we have a couple iron pick blades that we can use. Uh, we can turn those into iron picks. Let's get them all going. I have some more tool handle thingies in here. Let me just look in the inventory. Oh, I thought that was something dying. Uh, I'm so nervous that just more stuff is just going to keep dying here. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so where's the spear shafts? There they are. Sweet. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm heavy. Uh, yeah, very, very heavy. Okay. Uh, so let me see. Let me, let me see, let me see. Uh, we got to go in here. We got to take out these guys. And we got to drop in some... I don't think we have anything sharpened yet. We have a couple hatchet blades going. Uh, but we can probably go ahead and I think I need nails for the spear, right? Let me go ahead and try and get this done. Uh, do I do I even have it done? Wait, can I make it in here? The spear? Uh, yeah, I think I can make it in there. Let's just make it inside of there. That would be a little bit easier. Um, let's drop those in. Oh, crap. We got to empty it up. Oh man, our shields are done too. Oh, there's so much stuff. Uh, oh, wrong place. Uh, I gotta put you in there too. And uh, we never put in the spearheads. Great. Uh, let's take that out, I guess. And spearheads, and... Where are they? Oh, I can't make them in there. Okay. Interesting. They can only be made in my inventory. Right. Okay, that kind of puts a bit of a strain on things here. Is it in my crafting menu, I wonder? Um, no. Maybe I have to go all the way over to my bench over here. I don't know why it's a, like Carpenter's inventory. Surely that would be my inventory. Oh well, it's okay. Um, let's put those guys in there. Uh, let's type in iron. Okay, we gotta go into here. Iron spear, amazing. Make up a couple of those guys, and we got to check on our blades here. They're probably almost done. Yeah. Almost. Oh, wow. No. Wait, no. Oh, wow. We still have a lot more to go. Oh, great. This <laughs> takes so long. All right. Let's get a couple more of those guys in there. Sweet. Right. So we have two hatchet blades anyway, or did we have... No, we have two. I was about to say, did we have one? Um, so hatchets, here we go. Let's get two of those made up. Sweet, we gotta drop in some more leather now in a second. Okay. And that is a hatchet for us. Sweet, so the difference is probably the same. Wait, no, that's the blade, never mind. The difference is probably the same, yeah. So 90 durability as opposed to 200. And I think this was at 70. No, they're both at 90, never mind. Never mind me and my craziness. All right, we got to pop some of these guys in here. We're going to take a look at the shield now in a minute, but I want to try and get some of this other stuff done. Uh, can we go into the inventory in here? Has it made up any blades yet? No, not yet. It's about to, though. we got to get our sword done, too. Oh, man. All right, how's the iron going? Uh, yeah, we got another 10, and we got another two of those. Sweet. All right, let me let me see. Uh, we're going to drop that into here. Should we make up some arrows as well? I don't know if I want to make up arrows, though. I don't know. They kind of seem a little bit pointless, in my opinion. Like, I don't really want to be wasting so much iron on, like, arrows. I mean, I know you guys would probably like to see them, but at the same time, it's so expensive. Let me just grab some of these guys here. Um, let me see. What do you look like? All right, so it's just kind of shiny on the end. Nice. Let's get a better look while running. Looks pretty cool. It looks shiny. It looks good. Pokes pretty well. Nice. Okay, I like that. All right. Well, uh, let me see. Uh, what were we doing? We needed to check on the hatchets here. So we got to... You're the one that's done. 
Got to pop another one in here, get that one going. We can actually get seven of them done because it uses up the blade once it starts crafting. So you can pop in another one, have seven of them going all at once. And I think I might have done that in the, like, the last time when I was looking at all this stuff. Let's drop that guy in there. Oh, we got to get this crafted up. Sweet. All of this, like, blacksmithy stuff is really fun. I am so happy I picked this profession. It's so much more interesting. And I kind of feel bad because I'm looking at all the really cool stuff and some of the other guys are stuck with professions that don't work like farmer which really sucks it's it's kind of like they're making changes and everything um i don't blame the mod devs or anything but um it kind of sucks for some of the guys here that did pick a uh, farmer and that they were happy to pick farmer as well so it looks like we have to wait for some of this stuff to craft up so you know what guys i'll take a little cut here and i will bring you guys back when we have all the swords and everything made up it's pretty much the same thing i'd imagine you just drop it in turn it into a sharpened sword and uh yeah we'll be back in a little bit now, interestingly enough, the uh, the iron swords take hide to make for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, crap. I don't even have enough hilts made up, do I? Crap. We need one more. <laughs> All right. Let me just go grab some stuff for that. We can make that up really quick here on the fly. Um, I will just grab just half of that. That should be fine. And let's drop that into there. And we got a uh, hilt. Alright, let's make up, uh, let's just make up all of them. Oh crap, <laughs> I keep doing that. I wasn't even hitting the right button, I should be hitting E. Or no, A actually, no, A was the right button because then I would craft all. By the way, that's uh, that's how you do it by the way. If you want to craft 100 of a stack or all of whatever's there, if it's less than 100, if you hit A, it will just automatically give you 100 or whatever is less. Um, so let me just grab out all those, that should be fine for now. Grab out the rest later. Let's drop those guys in there, and there we go. Sweet. Okay, so that's all the hatchets made up. That is all of the uh, picks. Well, I mean, not all of them, but most of the picks made up anyway. And we have the swords made up too. Pretty freaking amazing. Um, I guess we might take out the sword for a bit of a test run here. Let's have a drink there. By the way, um, I, have I even showed this on cam? They seem to have made a change to the water jar, and now it it takes 100 water. It doesn't take 200, which is what it should have been taking. So they kind of nerfed the water jar a little bit, so you can't have a huge amount of water on you. Which is, eh, it's not too much of an issue for me. It's it's more so like it just means that I'm going to have to stay closer to water, I guess. Um, I'm just going to stick these in here for now, because otherwise I'm just going to lose them. Uh, how much is of how much of our iron is done? As you can see, throughout this whole episode, I think we only got yeah, we only got forty iron made up throughout this whole episode, and all of that off time, like off cam time that I spent beside this thing, waiting for this thing to make up the uh, the sharpened blades, which takes ages, <laughs> and uh, we only got forty iron. So you could, it kind of just scales how long it takes for this stuff to actually craft up. Uh, in case you guys were wondering, but we went through quite a lot of iron to doing everything there. And as you can see, if we were to try to make some of the iron uh, iron armor component things, we could make 100 between these 200. Uh, so 130, basically. Uh, so it's not that much. It really isn't that much. We have a little bit more. Probably a little bit more of maybe like 135 or something. But uh, not that much. Like we we definitely need a lot more iron, and it just it's the time that it takes to make, and it's quite a lot of things as well because it it doesn't also it doesn't only cost you know the iron ore and then the quick lime. It also costs the ingot molds, which take clay. Which clay is something. Oh well, we got another five already. Clay is something that is it's kind of you know it's a little bit awkward to you can make it you can craft clay basically. Or you can go ahead and you can go find clay inside of the anthills, which is what I usually been doing whenever I'm out there. If I see an anthill, I go straight for it and I take any bit of clay that is inside because uh, clay is very valuable to me right now. <laughs> so, I don't know, clay is kind of a bit of an issue and that stuff takes quite a long time to set up too. So, like the ingot molds, like I did a bunch of them before, it, co it cost me quite a lot of clay. How much do they cost per again? I think it's four, but it might be two. Um... So here we go. No, it's three, of course. I'd have to be in the middle of those two things. So it costs three clay per ingot mold. So as you can see, it kind of it gets very expensive there. Um, and then, yeah, just everything else that goes into making these tools, like, it takes quite a lot. So they're going to be probably pretty expensive. Um, so far, what have we made up today? Wait, did we grab them out? The swords and everything? 
I think we did. Yeah, we did. Why didn't I just look in the chest here? So far, what have we made up today? We have made a sword, a hatchet, a pick for ourselves, and we've made up three more swords. Uh, uh, we made up a shield for ourselves, too. Uh, we made up uh, four more shields, three more swords, ten more spears, um, and then a bunch more picks, which I can make even more of. And then also we have a bunch of hatchets, too. So, pretty successful day so far, if you ask me. Um, <laughs> this is pretty epic. Let me take out my sword. If only I was wearing my other armor. You know what? Let's quickly go up and get all that good stuff. Maybe let's go out and, and try to fight something, I guess. Oh, man, this sword looks awesome. Doesn't look any. It kind of looks a little bit smaller than than the normal sword, but that might just be me. Looks a little bit shinier too. I don't know. Uh, let's just go up to our wardrobe here, which is where I keep all of my stuff. So um, <laughs> screw this stupid iron shield or bronze shield. Let's take out all of this, put on our fancy shiny shiny armor, and uh, oh, gotta swap that back. Let me see. Doesn't look too bad. I like the contrast. <laughs> All right, let's grab our micro raptor on our shoulder and head down. All right, we could probably go out and try to kill one or two things. So let me actually go ahead and grab my horse and we'll head out there. Okay, so I ran around to the other beach over here. Let's test it out on this helpless dodo. Whoa, that's actually pretty powerful. One shotting a 54 dodo. That's not bad. Oh wow, we lost one durability for that? Are you serious? Is that 90 hits? Better not be 90 hits. Better get more. Oh, my Microraptor ate it. <laughs> how many? How much durability was on that? 90 as well. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well hopefully we get a couple more hits out of it because, I mean, it's powerful, but I don't, I don't really want to lose it after a little while here because they are very expensive. All right, we killed that 24 Dodo as well. Let's try something a little bit bigger. You gonna land? Yeah, he's gonna land. Perfect. Uh, how many? Oh, I don't know if we even hit it. We kind of did, I think. Kind of hard to tell. We didn't get like a hit noise. Uh. Got him. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, my guy just ate him as well. All right, let's get you on follow. We got some more guys up here. We got a Parasaur and we got a, uh, what is that? A Mike or an Avaraptor it looks like. Oh my God. No, it's a devil. Kill it. I don't want it, that thing near me. Kill it. No. <laughs> don't let it hurt you. Microraptor, get him. <laughs> I hate Picos. Get out of here, man. What level is that? Oh my God, there's another one. Those Pegos are not high level, but they're tanky. Die. <laughs> oh my god, Discord's on loud as well. It's a whole disaster. Oh my god. Come here. Okay, what else we got? We got uh, an Avaraptor over here. I guess we can kill this dude. <laughs> Two hit. Not bad. Not the worst. Uh... 86%. Okay, not too bad. That's not bad. I mean, our turkey apparently killed him, but that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Oh, give me a compi nest. That would be great. I don't have compies. I, don't, I want compies. Where are the compi nests at? Get away from him. <laughs> all right. Oh, there's another peg over there. I'm. Not, you know what? I'm just. I'm just gonna stay away from the pegos. I don't wanna. I don't want to mess with them. Okay. So guys, that's probably going to be it for today. <laughs> oh man. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to be uh, be sure to beat the crap out of that like button. Really does help me out. Um and if you guys want to see more like this, you know what to do. You got to subscribe. That's how it works. And uh oh, let's kill the stillo before we end off cuz we also got to get water. We got to go we got to go to the water anyway. Jerp, jerp, jerp. Oh crap, our horse is gonna kill it. <laughs> Never mind! <laughs> Alright. I will see you guys next time.